the Scott Craig channel. This is a first in the outdoor series of videos that I'm doing. Uh, feel free to comment and please hit that like button and subscribe, upper right corner there. This is a Spring Rockfish 2015 tournament from the Northern Neck Anglers Club. I was fishing with Scott Hotel and he's on the rod right there working on our first fish. Jim's in the middle with a net and my son Evan's on the left there clearing rods, getting things out of the way. It's a nice fish. These fish were real strong. Sorry about the sound quality uh, on the action shots here, but if you guys know anything about GoPros, you know that uh, they're pretty notorious for having rotten sound when you have the waterproof case in there. And I wouldn't want my camera out there without it, so we'll just watch this thing and see how it goes. Check it out. see when a fish isn't ready to come in and he sticks his head down and makes another run that's what really makes fishing trips a ton of fun I want to make sure you guys know I didn't edit the time of these fish catches because I wanted you to see just how long it takes to get these big rockfish in. Once we got to fish in the boat, that was a quick measure, and you couldn't see that. It was under the top, and uh, that fish was just barely able to be kept at about 35 and a half inches. In Maryland waters, you can only keep them under 36, well, 28 to 36, or 40 inches and over. And that was the only one that we were able to keep this day, but you're going to see a couple break off. Here's one coming right here. This is a really nice fish. It's a shame that this happened. Watch that thing pull. It's just amazing. It's a shame we lost that one. So this is Jim here on another really nice fish. Like I said, these fish were strong. These, these are ocean-going fish. This is in the lower Potomac River, and uh, he's got a good one on here. 
It's going to be a heck of a fight. And you watch closely because we have a little minor catastrophe at the end. Um, we had a little net fouling with the fish. Then the fish uh, actually broke the rod and the line at the same time. I'm going to show you that in slow motion. It's just a miracle that we got this fish in the boat. But this is really cool. So hope you like it as much as we did. It was a lot of fun. Um, heck of an adventure. Sorry, Scott, about the broke pole. <laughs> fish made several good runs too. Should show up pretty good here. Uh, camera's going to get knocked for a loop at the end when the catastrophe hits, but pay close attention you'll see what happens. Just a testament to my crew here. We were running 10 lines. That white thing in the water in the upper right corner is a planer board. We got one off each side of the boat and we were able to run 10 lines and even with these big strong fish we did not have any tangles whatsoever. It was really a great day. Good crew. Just a little quick repositioning of the camera there, make sure we got all the action. Fat lot of good it does with what's getting ready to happen.
So here's about where our catastrophe starts. I'm um, going to show it to you in slow motion in a minute, but I tell you, it's, it's something. First, the net got fouled up with the fish, and then once we got back control of that, switched up on netter between Evan and Scott, the daggone rod snaps, and you'll see it in slow motion. The bait wraps around the net. The other bait is a tandem rig attaching the fish to the net, which allowed us to kind of scramble and have another whack at it. It's pretty cool. Alright, so I paused this. I wanted you to see it. Watch real close uh, as Scott has this bait get tangled up in the net. Realizes a fish is attached to it, so he throws the net behind him, starts hand lining it in. Evan jumps in, the two of them are hand lining the fish in. Jim thinks the fish is long gone. He peeks over the corner and sees what's going on, goes and gets the net again, which still has the rig still tangled up in it. Gets the fish in the net, and we get the thing in the boat, so. What was a catastrophe turned into quite a triumph, and it's a lot of fun to watch. gets knocked straight again from the jaws of defeat they pulled the victory out of it <laughs> that was that was cool man that was a ton of fun so you get to see a little victory celebration here pretty neat stuff This would end up being the last fish that we got uh, in the boat today, so hope you guys liked watching this. I know it's a little long, but it's kind of like being there, so please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and uh, we'll definitely see you next time. Thanks for watching.